have the director and choreographer Hunter Foster and Jen Cody here with me today, and they're going to talk with us about the grease. Have you guys done grease before? Um, yes, we did grease uh, on Broadway for uh, over three years. Yeah, three. Yeah, three and a half years. I was in the original uh, uh, Broadway revival, and uh, which in fact we started December 6, 1993. But I also did grease in high school. Um, and I also did Grease in another professional theater, so it was actually my third production. So this is my fourth production of Grease, the first time as a director for Grease. And I only did it on Broadway, I've never done it in any other production. And I was, I was cha-cha, so I was only in like 22 minutes of the show. So I didn't really even really know the show But she well. worked really hard, and yeah. every night it's like, oh my god, I'm working so hard <laughs> in 22 minutes. I worked really hard, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but you did say that at one point in time you went on to a jam. Uh, well, we, we needed a jam, so I rehearsed it in the lobby. And then, I don't know what happened. Why did we have no jams? You know, we never went on together. We didn't go on together. No. I don't even know if you were in the show when we ran out of jams. You ran out of jams. I was, I was the understudy of Frenchie, so I did go on for Frenchie. Okay. But, um... Did you understand Patty? I didn't uh, Yeah, it was weird. We, um, we had an ensemble of ten, and then everyone had to cover other people. Like, Hunter was... Roger, but you I covered was Danny, Danny Kanicki. Kanicki, and the Teen Angel. The Teen Angel. <laughs> <laughs> we also, yeah, I mean, it was, it's we all sort of internally covered each other, so um, just in case. And it's true, we we I was the, the Teen Angel cover, and um, sure enough, I think it was like three years in the runs. The teen, we, had, we had no Teen Angels in the theater, and I had to go on. My favorite was when we ran out of um, people, and the girl who was like kind of there, but she was pregnant, and she. You know, should not still have been in the show. She was in the ensemble, so they just gave her puffier skirts, and then she had to go on for Sandy. And remember oh, that? And no. she had to go out in that like tight little black outfit like this with baby the, bump. <laughs> like all oh, that changes the story. Yeah. <laughs> they tried to hide it, but oh it was, no, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good story. Yeah. <laughs> This is my third show here. I did Into the Woods like two months ago, I think. Then, like, I don't know, like 99? I, I don't know what it was. Oh yeah, it was Music Man. It was like 2000 maybe, and I, I did Music Man here. Yeah. Um, when Terry Mann ran the theater, so a long time ago. Um, yeah. And I um, I was born in Lumberton, and uh, my mother was from Whitehall, North yeah. Carolina. My father was from Winston-Salem. Um, my grand uncle was in Wellington. My cousin who's passed away, she did the as well. And uh, my aunt was in a place near Winston Center as well. So most of my extended family is from North Carolina. And uh, I didn't really grow up in Georgia. And so I, I've had ties to North Carolina my whole life. Awesome. Yeah, not so much Raleigh. I don't I've never been to um I and we used to live in Charlotte, so it's Winston Salem, Charlotte. So you're exploring Raleigh for the first time? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I There's no time. We're putting up a show in four days. <laughs> yeah. I think I've been to Chapel Hill, but I don't think we've ever been to Raleigh. Okay. Yeah. In team? Um, yeah, I think, you know, we sort of, um, I think because we've, we've, you know, we've not only been married for a long time, but we've also been working in the theater for such a long time. But performing I think together a lot. We perform so. together, and I think we sort of, met, and we also see a lot of shows together. So, you know, we talk about theater and what we expect of theater, and and I think we, we, we have similar aesthetics as far as what we expect and what we want theater to be. So I think starting with that is, is good because, you know, if, if we say a number should be like this, we sort of are already in agreement because I think we view theater the same way. You know, it should be truthful and honest. And, and we try to find the truth and, and storytelling, which is the most important thing. Is that you're telling a story, and every element that's in a show has to continually tell a story. Whether it's choreography, whether it's staging, whether it's the actors, the script, the music, everything has to be telling the same story. And I think that's something that we, we share and we talk about all the time. It's like, okay, what story are we telling in this number? What story are we telling in, in this scene? And I think starting with, so we, we think similarly when it comes to theater, which is good, helpful. Yeah, I think from being married so long, too, it, uh... We already have that communication thing, so that's like an easier, we don't, we're already starting in a, on a base that's like, oh, I understand what he means or what he wants. It's not like when you work with um, a new director, a new choreographer, and you're like, he's saying things and I don't understand what that means. We kind of already are past that, I think. So. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? 
Yeah, um, you know, we were on this cruise, this Playboy cruise in Southeast Asia, and uh, kind of with like all these theater people, Tommy Toon and uh, Chrissy Eversall, and Lewis, all these really great theater people, and Pat Burch, who was the original choreographer, and she was a, a both the Broadway production and uh, movie. And she was also the director of Grease too, which I didn't know. Yeah, not so, so successful. No, not successful. <laughs> but but she's been involved with Grease her whole life. And she's a Tony nominated choreographer, five times five times Tony nominated choreographer. And uh, so I asked her, I said, I said, do you have any words of wisdom when it comes to Greece? And she said, Yeah, she goes, you know, the problem with Greece now is that it's become a caricature. These are people when you go see productions, it's they're not real people anymore. So our original intention is that there's these real high school students. And now they're becoming cartoons, they become like caricatures. It's like the cool guy, the nerd, the cheerleader. Of and it's sort of the movie too, that people are just trying to like derivative of the movie. Oh, I'm I'm playing, I'm I'm doing Travolta, doing Danny Zuko, or I'm doing Starker Channing, doing Rizzo, as opposed to approaching it just as if we'd never done I always say to my and they ever direct and say this. I didn't say it the other night, but I should have. Let's approach Greece as if it's never been done. You know what I mean? Let's try to and in fact there's a few things that we've been shifting around just because it makes more sense. Not shifting around, but <laughs> I mean, you know, not, not huge things, but just like saying, why don't we do this here, do this here, just just so it makes sense for us in this production. Um, so hopefully, it, it'll be a fresh take on it. People will come and go, oh wow, uh, as opposed to, oh yeah, I've seen this before. You know, I've seen it in my high school, I've seen it in my community theater, I've seen it. You know, it'll, it'll be a fresh take. You know, so that's that's our. Point. Yeah, I think the choreography, it's um, its challenging because, um, especially when you do it out of town, is that you kind of don't know what you got, right? So you get here and you're like, oh, well, um, there's a, we have our ensemble, and then we have these teens, on teen ensemble, and, and then we, have, we dance the teens, and they have that energy that these, if you were really these age kids, you'd have. So it's been a, a great... Um, like tool to teach them a step and go, oh, that's actually the energy that's required for this dance. And it's, I think if we were using like 26, 27 year olds, um, we, we wouldn't have that that element to it. So even them, I notice when they dance with the teens, they have a little more life and live, cause it's a, it's a learning tool. Um, but yeah, my dances, I'm trying to avoid um, the, the stereotypical things that have been done. I've been trying to find like new little uh, feeling, and, and I've been handed some challenges. It's like like a car doesn't uh, get fancy. It's just the car. So um, finding different storytelling in that so that it fills all that time and, and there's a story and we're not really changing the car, but in our, our minds we're changing the car. Um, yeah, so I think that the dancers will all just be hopefully a little fresh take on but uh, some of the stuff, you know, like summer loving is summer loving. Yeah. Um, but I think that there's some interesting stuff. As long as we keep the actors telling a story, I think it always makes it um, more yeah. fun to watch. And I think that's my my thing is I want every number, I want the cast to have fun doing it because I think that also makes it fun for the audience. So, big hand.